Hey guys, Roger Peterson here with Two Can Do. Well, we're always working on building better relationship skills. Relationship skills that will help us build great relationships with our children, with our wife, with our friends, and ultimately with God. And what I want to start today is a series of videos on what does it look like to get it right with God. I've been having a conversation with many men over different coffee tables at different Starbucks and Anthem down in Puyallup. And, um, and we've been sort of researching this question through discussion and throwing in our stuff. And I think it's really important that we answer this question to some degree, because if not, the answer that you probably grew up with was going to beat you up. The answer that I grew up with, what's it look like to get it right with God? Well, the answer I sort of grew up with, especially it, it solidified itself in Bible school down at Multnomah, if you get it right with God, you're going to wake up feeling in love with God. <laughs> if you get it right, you're going to, all throughout the day, you're just going to want to serve Him. All throughout the day, you're just going to be thinking of heavenly things. That's if you get it right. And you can see where I, <laughs> because I did, I wake up thinking about me. <laughs> I walk throughout my day automatically thinking about me. <laughs> so you can see where you'd beat yourself up and maybe you're like me. So what does it look like to get it right with God? Well, I think we basically need to delineate between uh, a honeymoon and a marriage. Completely different things, right? It's totally normal to wake up feeling in love with someone instantly, without work, when you first started dating or when you are first married. Sure, that's, that's pretty normal. But where does that go? What does that turn into? What does that marriage turn into? Now I want to give you my answer. It doesn't need to be your answer. But this is what I think. Like you imagine a, a marriage that's been together for a long time and they are very happy. Now they're, they're, they're rare, right? But they're out there. You find two people, two elderly people, you see them, they've been together a long time and they're actually very happy together. So what, what, does, that, what does that look like as opposed to a honeymoon? I think you wake up, number one, you wake up with a sense of responsibility. You follow through in that deeper sense of responsibility. And you find a deeper sense of satisfaction. Number one. The second thing, moments of bliss. There's moments where you're overwhelmed with love for that person. There's moments where you cannot believe how wonderful it is to be married to this person. But for the most part goes back to the first thing, a sense of responsibility, discipline to follow through in that responsibility, and a sense of deep satisfaction as you touch the deeper things of life. That's what a healthy, earthly marriage will look like, I believe, with moments of bliss. And I think that's what our relationship with God ultimately should look like. We should have a deep sense of um, responsibility. We should have the discipline to follow through on that responsibility and then a sense of satisfaction as we follow through on that and touch the deeper things of life, the deeper things of love, of giving, of serving, and moments of bliss. And my moments of bliss, I definitely have them, right? In, in the middle of a communion service, in the middle of a wonderful worship service, sometimes alone, just God and I, maybe with my earbuds in, listening to some music, or just walking along in a private place, him and I, in the mornings when we get together, I can, I can sense some really wonderful, blissful moments. But for the most part, when I get it right with God, what it looks like is, number one, a sense of clear responsibility. Number two, the discipline to follow through on that. And number three, a deep sense of satisfaction as I obey God. One of the verses that has led me to this understanding is that verse in Philippians 4, 6 there, where it says, think about these things, whatever is true and right and just, yada, yada, yada. Then you'll be filled with the, the peace that God can bring. It doesn't say you'll wake up feeling the peace that God can bring and then think about these things. He says you discipline yourself. You fix your eyes and you fix your ears and you fix your heart on what is right and pure and just. And then the God of peace will come to you. Don't, don't get me wrong. There's a day coming when we're going to wake up feeling in love with God. And that's in heaven. I'm not sure we're going to be sleeping in heaven. But you get my point. All of that will come automatic. It will be a honeymoon all day long in heaven. Until then, it's going to feel like a deep sense of responsibility. Hopefully some discipline to follow through in that responsibility. And then a deeper sense of satisfaction as you discover 
the deeper parts of love, serving, and giving. All right, I hope you enjoy this series. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.